I'm right side for the camera. Didi! Come on. <laughs> no, okay. Every time. She's very likes today's so cool. <laughs> Say hey, baby. and that's been where we get most of our content in but this is where now we're gonna jump into playoff pictures the playoffs baby the <laughs> playoffs the playoffs so we're gonna start with the AFC playoff picture um, ben, you want to go ahead and read off your seven teams that are making the playoffs, starting with the four division winners. All right. So, my number one seed with buy and home field advantage, I think, is Buffalo. It's going to be hard to, to – they're going to be hard to beat. They are a good-looking team last year. I think Kansas City drops a couple games. I think the AOC North ends up kind of sabotaging itself a little bit. Um, I think Buffalo kind of comes out unscathed. Winning, you know, winning the conference and record, they'll be the number one. My number two is actually Cleveland. I have a lot of hopes for Cleveland. I think they're going to be a really fun team to watch. They come out number two. Just behind them is Kansas City. They'll be the three seed. And to round that out, the four seeds, I think it's going to be Tennessee. I think that division is going to be the closest to see who gets that four seed. Um, Right now, I have Tennessee and, Indiana and Indianapolis right there at four and five. I think that is interchangeable, and I don't think it matters since the four and five play each other. I think they'll end up being a head-to-head -to, -head to see who moves on to face Buffalo the next week. Mm -hmm. um, as for my sixth seed, I've got Baltimore at sixth seed. They fell um, far enough to not beat out Indiana for that fifth spot. And my seventh seed hopeful pick <laughs> is Cincinnati. Oh, three to AFC make North. The run. I think the AFC <laughs> North is really good. Uh, I gave Pittsburgh kind of the the short the, end. The end of the stick. Um, don't think they're going to come out and go 12 and 0 this season. I think they're going to struggle and riding off that basically six game loss streak. Um, I I think they're going to really, you know, not come into form. So I think Cincinnati takes games off them. I think Cincinnati comes back and plays pretty well. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they have opportunities. I have all three of those AFC North teams getting a lot of wins. So I think they have somewhat of easier schedules. Um, so I think Cincinnati squeaks in. Don't really know who is at 8-9 in that situation. Um, but they could easily drop games and somebody moves into that spot. I don't have a particular team. Probably the Chargers are at there at 8. So the Chargers are probably my, if Cincinnati doesn't make it, Chargers at 7. First team out. First team out. I don't think they go any further than that. Um, as much as I love Joe Burrow and Herbert, that 7th seed, you go to play Cleveland. Cleveland's making it through there. Yeah. My, and I like Baltimore, but it's Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City's not losing Kansas in their City, first playoff Kansas game, City, I don't think. Especially if Kansas City doesn't get that first seed. I think Kansas City is going to be like, hey, hold up a minute. We're still here. We're still here. We're pretty good. So uh, they'll come in and they'll come out and take care of business. So I don't really have a flip a coin with Indianapolis and Tennessee. I don't know if I had to pick one. I had Tennessee ahead of them. But I think six times out of ten, I think Tennessee <laughs> wins it. Okay. I mean, it's, it's close. It's close. But I have the four division winners winning. Um, which is not super unusual. Which is not unusual. I, want, I tried to find some kind of upset. It, they're just going to be good teams. I think your upset is the fact that Cincinnati like makes Cincinnati the playoffs all. and yeah, somebody else one, doesn't. I think that one's <laughs> kind of your, your, hey, man, that's, that's pretty out there. Yeah. Um, so, you're, you know, then you go to 1-4 and 2-3. I really, really want to give the win to Cleveland. Pretty bad. Um, 
I just don't know if they can stop Kansas City. It's going to depend on who has momentum. Mm-hmm. Any team that gets – the ASC is stacked this year. It's so – these top four, I feel like you send any one of them and they make the NFC Conference Championship pretty easily and they give whoever they yeah. get there a run for their money, which they'll give them in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So – I I'll agree with that even with a different order of teams yeah, for so me. Yeah, so I think Buffalo beats out Tennessee. I think they're going to – this is their year to try to do something. They're going to do it. Mm-hmm. I gotta give the win to KC. I, I have to. It, until proven otherwise, they are the cream of the crop in the AFC. They're the for best. You. Um, yeah. And then you have Buffalo KC at the front. I'll actually give Buffalo that win. I think they'll somehow squeak it out. I think it'll be a disappointment for Kansas City to be so close to have a rematch up in the Super Bowl. Uh-huh. Rematch possibility there, depending on yeah. what that other side of the bracket looks like. Um, so yeah, I Buffalo think, I think, show. I think Buffalo goes back to the show. They'll try to not lose because four in a row. You know, four in a row but, <laughs> yeah, uh, they'll do it for Jim Kelly, right? There you go. I think they'll have a good shot uh, mm-hmm. at going there. But it's whoever makes it to the AFC. At, it feels like a super, if, super strong. Yeah, I mean, team. you have to the the battle you had to fight through to get there. The caliber of teams you had to fight through to get there. They're the team to watch. They're probably the favorite going in, even if Tom Brady goes back. Yeah. The ASU's probably the favorite going in. I agree. This feels like the SEC. Yeah. Like, like going through an SEC schedule. I, so uh, my AFC playoff picture is pretty similar to yours with only a few differences. Barring a couple key differences. Yeah. Um, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Buffalo is – top seed. I think they play to show people that last year was not a fluke. I think Josh Allen vies for MVP. I think the kid is absolutely amazing. I think they play for the regular season because I think in a in a league system that may have a lot of fans, Buffalo fans want to be at these games and they are going to really rock the house for their team that they did not get to watch in person last year. I think they're going to come out in full force and they're really going to get this team to some new heights. Um, I put Cleveland at number two. I, I think it's a very slim margin between them and Baltimore in terms of winning this division. Um, but I, I I see Cleveland as going nuts, just like uh, Buffalo, and really showing people that last year wasn't a fluke. Um, I think Kansas City takes a step back and they make the three seed. I think they still win their division, but I think they play less for the regular season. Um, I made the point in the breakdown that I think they're a team that does not want the one seed. I don't think they want the bye. I think they have shown that this group of players that don't play well off of a bye, they look rusty, they look out of sync. I think this is a really, really strong team if they stay in their flow. And if you knock them out of their flow by giving them a bye, I feel like they run more risk to themselves than some other teams would. Um, And I slot Indianapolis in at the four spot, winning the AFC South. Um, I think that's the weakest that that division is going to ever be for the foreseeable future. I think Houston gets their act together eventually. I think Jacksonville looks way better. And I think Tennessee is right there. But I think it's super close between those two teams. Um, I slot Baltimore in at the five seed, top wild card. Uh, I think them in Cleveland is the most compelling divisional race in the AFC as it winds down. I think they are a spectacular team that nobody will want to play in the playoffs. Indianapolis is going to get that uh, crack first, but I don't think anybody wants to see them in the playoffs. Um, I think my differing team for you is I put the Chargers Chargers, in. I think the Chargers are going to be absolutely crazy, just like 
just like a lot of these young quarterbacks, I think year two for Justin Herbert in this system, he's going to go nuts. B A N A N A S. I mean, this kid is so good. He's got a hose on his right hand. He can sling it all over the lot. He's a lot like Patrick Mahomes. He can do it on the run. He can do it from the pocket. It doesn't matter. This kid's going to be good. And I think that's another compelling divisional race, which most people wouldn't have expected, given the AFC West has been kind of weak the past couple years with Kansas City ruling the roost. I think the Chargers storm into the playoffs as the sixth seed. And then I slapped the Tennessee Titans in at the seventh seed. Um, I think really the only team that, for me, would get left out at the eight. Um, I don't see Cincinnati being there. I don't see Pittsburgh being there. Really the only team that I could see making a push at eight and maybe pulling the Titans out is a really good season from the Dolphins. Yeah. If they really perform well and win some of the other games outside of playing Buffalo that maybe they aren't scheduled to win, that's the only team that I see making a push to get in this seven that's not there yeah. on my side. I think if, you, if the Chargers play as well as they do, uh, as you predict them to, I don't think Miami has that big of a shot. They were barely in the playoffs last year at mm-hmm. 10 wins. It, I don't know if they perform quite as well this year getting there with Tennessee and Indianapolis being so so close mm-hmm. and this AFC North being as competitive as it is you're going to get high win totals out of them so if if the Chargers come to play yeah you're going to have you're going to have 11 win teams 12 win teams as wild card teams mm-hmm. I mean it, for sure it's going to be interesting it's going to be watch. super close it's going to be tight and yeah. that's why I think you're going to get you're going to get good football in the playoffs oh yeah I mean it's yeah. so who do you have one in your matchups here so uh, the 2-7 is Cleveland and Tennessee I think Cleveland takes this no problem honestly this is the worst matchup for the Tennessee Titans. I think the Cleveland Browns are going to have one of the best rush defenses in all of football. I don't I don't see Tennessee moving the ball enough against Cleveland, especially if they have played well enough to make it to the two seed. They're not getting stopped by King Henry. I, I just don't see that. If Julio contributes a lot to this offense and makes them more two-dimensional, I could see this game being a little tighter, but as of right now, I think Cleveland takes it pretty easy. The 3-6 is a divisional matchup, Chiefs-Chargers, and I'm going to give it to the Chiefs. I don't think they lose their first playoff game. I don't think they lose at home, especially if fans are involved. It's going to be cold. It's probably going to be snowing. And I don't know how the Chargers would adapt to that. Um, And then the 4-5 is Indy and Baltimore. And I think Lamar Jackson is still – I don't think he gets figured out this year. I think that's still a couple years away. I think they have a dynamic enough – Offense to counteract Indianapolis. Although Indianapolis has a really good defense, and I think that's going to keep them in a lot of games this year, um, I don't foresee Carson Wentz playing well in a playoff game if they made it there. I I just I don't believe in the kid. Honestly, he's on a really well run and well put together team, but I don't think he makes them playoff winning mm. uh, level. So then in the next round, uh, I have Buffalo beating Baltimore. I think they're just – I think Buffalo is just head and shoulders better than Baltimore as of right now. I think if Josh Allen competes to the point where they are the one seed and gets a couple MVP votes, I think he he is enough to carry this team. Um, I give the edge to Cleveland. I say Cleveland beats Kansas City in the dog pan. Uh, if they if they got to that point, uh, I just I gotta see Cleveland, man. They are so exciting. They're gonna be fun to watch, which is so weird to say about a Cleveland Browns team. We brought that up earlier. Um, I just think that they are gonna be enough to take down Kansas City. Although I I'm prepared to be wrong about that, Patrick Mahomes makes everybody Does look wrong. Does that count as an upset? You know, you know do, it doesn't do you think, on paper. Do you think Kansas City goes into every game, even if they're lower seed favorite, 
except for maybe against Buffalo? Uh, Probably. I yeah, I, I would imagine. be. I don't know. I would be surprised if if Cleveland plays well enough to be the two seed. I would be surprised if Kansas City came into a playoff game against them favored. I I just I think Cleveland is. It, it, this is their year, honestly. We don't give a damn about the NFC. AFC is the one to watch. Oh, my God. That is, I, that is I want to watch football. every single one of these games. Um, and then, again, man, i got to see Buffalo. I give Buffalo the edge against Cleveland see. in a, like a razor-thin AFC championship we game. We both got Buffalo in the, in yeah. the Super Bowl. Again, right. I think if, if Buffalo is able to play in front of their fans, in front of Bills Mafia after such a great season last year, I think they eke it out. Uh in an AFC championship game at home in the snow, I'm sure. Um, I got to see Josh Allen, man. This kid is way too good to not be in big, big playoff games with that arm talent and with all the receivers that he's going to have to throw to. I think he's he's got it. I think they're just too good. I think this is the meteoric rise of Josh Allen. This is going to be his MVP kind of year. Seems like all these AFC quarterbacks have either had an MVP kind of year or they're on the cusp. I think Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert are going to be next in line where you look at them and go, okay, it's your turn, kid. But I think this year goes to Buffalo. So that that's the AFC playoff picture for us. We both pick Buffalo. Where you got your NFC? Um, so for me, NFC, I think Tampa Bay is head and shoulders above anybody for a one seed contention. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers and the Revenge Tour, they give a really good push. I think they finish just one game short. Um, it's going to be razor thin down to the wire in terms of seeding for that, but I just trust Tom Brady and their sort of lackluster schedule. Um, I trust them to win, win however many games it takes to get there. Um, Green Bay, like I said, I put them at the two seed just barely. Um, for me, I have the Rams at the three seed winning the NFC West by a game, and I think they end up – in the three seed because they'll have a better record by a game over Washington, who will be the four seed NFC East champs. Um, and then for me, I have all three NFC West wild cards. Uh, yep. So I, I, I put San Francisco at the five, Seattle at the six, Arizona at the seven. Wow, you put Seattle third in that division. Yeah, barely, just barely. Oh, it, it came down it's to a nice edge, but it's, yeah, on the on the schedule, it came down to out of division games and tiebreakers. So, I think that's a, a sh- very thin razor edge between them. Um, and then I give Arizona the seven seed over Dallas, who I think is the only team that could vie for that eighth spot you know really on the fringe but Arizona and Dallas play each other it's in Dallas I think Kyler Murray goes home to Texas and he wins that game and that gives them the tiebreaker at nine and eight over Dallas so they eke in as a seventh spot for me um so moving into some of the games below that um I say that Green Bay beats Arizona. I don't really think that that's a super yeah, hard decision to make. Four? What's that? Yeah, Green Bay has the four. No, I have Green two. Bay has the two. So that's two the two seven, seven matchup. Okay. I think Arizona is not equipped to play in the snow. I can't. I can't picture in my head. And it's hard. Cliff for them. Kingsbury calling plays in the snow. And it would just be. It's it a just hard game doesn't for them. See, yeah. If they got to go to Lambo. To play Green Bay, mm-hmm. Green Bay. That if they're number two, they've looked real good all season. I mean, for Arizona Green Bay, has been tested. Yeah, for Green Bay to get back to a two C position for me, I think the revenge tour is for sure on. I think Jordan Love has not seen the field. I think Aaron Rodgers is out to prove that they are making the wrong decision by trying to backdoor this guy, and he is just not having it. I'll be honest. I don't know if it's a little bit of zen. I don't know if it's a little bit of crazy or a little bit of both. But I think he plays just as – I think Aaron Rodgers does not take a step back performance-wise. 
but I don't think he gets the same MVP votes just given all the AFC quarterbacks that we talked about having spectacular years. I think he is kind of in a LeBron James scenario where people underappreciate his talent because he's been doing it at a very consistently high level that you don't get the acceleration in his game. And so I think this this upcoming year he falls off of the MVP talks. Um, but I, again, I'm very prepared to be wrong about that. I'm all into this revenge tour mentality that he seems to be having, calling out his front office and press conferences and he just looks like he looks different so I don't I I think that manifests in a two seed and I think they beat Arizona in a seven matchup pretty handedly Um, the three six I have it as being Rams Seahawks I trust that if the Rams have played well up to this point to win the division be the three seed I have them slated as 12 and 5 I think that means that the defense is playing on all cylinders, and I think that that's just the difference. I think their playmakers on defense are better than any playmakers that Seattle has on defense, and they eke that out barely. I think they split the regular season, and and I have L.A. winning this game. And then the 4-5, Washington and San Francisco, I'm way higher on Washington than I know you are, so I had to go full in on it, and I gave Washington the win. I think it's another close one, and it feels a lot like the Seattle reference where Washington has a super good front seven, and I think whoever is playing quarterback for San Francisco would be on the run the entire time, and I think that's enough to throw them off their rhythm. And I just trust that if Washington has played well enough to win the division, that they can score enough points to win this one playoff game. Um, And it helps that you don't run into Tom Brady out out the gate. Yep. So I give them the edge there. Um, Then looking at the the next round, I think Tampa Bay – beats Washington second year in a row. I don't think Washington has improved enough to beat that team. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Tampa Bay is returning all 22 starters. And, again, Washington just hasn't done enough to get over the super team for sure. Um, I say Green Bay beats the Rams. California team playing in the snow, same sort of – mentality of Arizona playing in the snow. I just don't see that happening. I think Matthew Stafford gives it a really good effort being a former NFC North quarterback. He knows what that cold feels like, but nobody else does on that team. They're not, I don't think they're equipped to just go up there and beat Aaron Rodgers in the snow. I just, I can't predict that off the rip. Um, How often do you think it snows up there, my guy? Huh? We're predicting pretty heavy snowfall every. Uh, yeah, it's at least it's the whole the whole time. It's just snowing in Green Bay. November on, just predict snow. Snow. Yeah, there it's just go. snowing. Um, and then Tampa Bay, Green Bay again. This time in Tom Brady's house and not in Green Bay. Get him out of the snow. I, I, again, I, I don't see enough of a difference in the two rosters that are matching up one year later. I don't see enough of a difference to give it to Green Bay. I think Tom Brady gets there again, man. He's just – he's the guy you want on your team to get to the big dance. It's kind of like LeBron. If you want to get to the big dance, you either are meeting him in the big dance or you got to go through it. Yep. So I'm going to ride or die with that until proven – Otherwise, Otherwise. Um, so what's what, I like, what I like is your, your picks, NFC? But I, I shook it up a little bit right here. <laughs> yeah, I got number it. one C to Seattle. Um, oh wow! Okay, I think that Seattle ends up eking out that spot from Tampa Bay at the two. Mm-hmm. Um, Let me stop you right there. Do you see this at? Do you see this year as a Russell Wilson proving the haters wrong kind of year? Because there have been trade talks and yeah, I think he's gonna. I him. think he's gonna come back and he's gonna do really well. I think his the defense behind him is gonna be really really solid. Um, I think that whole offense has a, a 
another super good year really comes to play. Ends up being that one seed. Um, I mean, they were the two seed last year, right? Or three seed. They did something or another. I to, don't to, even to, remember. They did something to, to break you. down I the don't Saints. Remember. They ended up breaking the Saints out into like the fourth seed or something, or the third, something or another to where we ended up having to play Brady in that game. Yeah. Which was unfortunate for us. Well. But something or another happened. But anyway, uh, you ended up having Tampa at two. I have Green Bay at three and Washington at four. I'm pretty sure we had a lot of that similar, except you had the Rams in at three. Yeah, so, I have more faith in the Rams given their new quarterback yeah. and their schedule. But, again, we, we talked about that in the and, NFC and West section. we pretty section. much believe that those division winners are, are pretty set in stone with the exception of the West where we have toss-up. Yeah. Um, my difference here is I think a lot higher of Arizona. I think they're going to have almost a fluke of the year mm-hmm. that they're going to just perform. And so and you have them storming to the five seed. I have them at the five. Yeah. I have okay. them at the five. Uh, it's going to be tough for them to get there, but I think they can. Mm-hmm. My six is New Orleans. The reason that is is I think they'll figure their QB thing out. And I think they have an easy enough road to where games. if they yeah. win the games they need to, they can make it because I don't think the NFC North is competitive and I don't think the NFC East is competitive. With the West being as cutthroat as it is, I think you have enough wins within your division. And if you can avoid almost everybody, I think they can avoid Seattle. I'm pretty sure they got to play Seattle. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, you can avoid pretty much everybody else. I think you can eke out a sixth place. No. My seventh place is the Rams. I think they're the they're the next guy. I think San Francisco is the odd man out, and I think probably a Chicago and then a Dallas. Um, hmm. I think Chica- I think Chicago has a shot to actually take a couple games. Now is that I think that seventh is, is going to be closer? Okay, so you you say Chicago is close. Do you think that's with or without Justin Fields? Um. Do you think I don't they think it matters? Okay. If I'm being honest, I, I don't. I don't think it particularly matters. I don't think Justin Fields is going to come out there and light the world on fire. Um, I think he'll take a little time to actually do so. Now he proved me wrong. Make that division competitive. All for it. Please. Because, <laughs> gosh, that NFC North is just Green Bay dominated, and it doesn't even feel like it's close. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so. We'll have to wait and see, but that's where I have it shook up. I have the Rams basically eking it out because I think that the NFC West is pretty much just like we're <laughs> we're all Let's, out. We're yeah. we're gonna we're gonna show you how we play West Coast football. Yeah, and we don't play around over here. Um, so that's what I have matched up. So the first matchup I have is Tampa Bay versus the Rams. I think Tampa Bay wins it. Uh, I think they win it pretty handily. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my two seven. I don't think they're gonna. That Tampa's really gonna struggle with this one. Um, I think it could be a two touchdown lead pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Um, they're defending champs until proven otherwise. Unless they struggle, yeah. they're the people that. That's where you, you gotta, gotta. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta put your eggs in that basket. Thing. I mean, um, my three six Green Bay versus New Orleans. It's not gonna be the same. New Orleans, you know, the Drew Brees and Rodgers rivalry. I think New Orleans flukes their way into that sixth seed, but I think they figure it out just since they have the other pieces around them and they mm-hmm. were a good team last year winning the division. I think they lose to Green Bay. It, Aaron Rodgers is going to beat is them it out. Is it snowing? It might be snowing. <laughs> it could be snowing. <laughs> if anything, there's a nice hail. Yeah. Um, and then Washington and Arizona is my four or five. And I think Arizona is going to come to play. I think they're going to beat them at Washington. I think Arizona takes that last spot with the upset in the fifth seed. Um, so they move on to play Seattle at that one. That is going to be a bloodbath. They would have played twice in the season. I think they split the season for them at one and one. I have Seattle winning it because it's at home. Yeah. Um, 12th man, possibly. It, yeah, it's just going to be hard for that to, uh, to go anywhere else. I think that Seattle probably wins it. I would love to see Arizona win it, if that's the case. Mm-hmm. Um, Riding your Cinderella pick. I, I, that, that is my Cinderella pick. I would love them to go through. I don't know if they can beat them a second time. 
in the season. That's it's, it's going to be hard for them to do. Tampa Bay versus Green Bay. Yet again. I got Green Bay winning. Oh, wow. I think okay. Green Bay, I think Rodgers goes in, takes last year, and says, I got you, Tommy. Sit this one out. It's my turn. So you're more, you sound even more hyped for the revenge tour than I am because I, I, I couldn't give it to him. super hyped for this revenge tour. Okay. I'm more hyped than you are for this revenge tour because <laughs> I have Green Bay beating Seattle at Seattle to go to the Super Bowl and face off against the Buffalo Bills and okay. Josh Allen. That is where I have them ending up. I think Green Bay, this is the year. Rodgers is going to the Super Bowl. I don't have them winning it. Oh, okay. I have Buffalo beating them out. You have Buffalo eking it out. Not even eking it out. I think Buffalo comes out in like the first half and just drops like 28. Oh, wow. I think Buffalo really comes out swinging and just wins the whole thing. I don't think that any NFC team... Yeah, they go through a bit of a gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Because it's Green Bay, because I think Green Bay ends up beating out both of those teams in a close game. I think Green Bay matches up relatively well against Seattle. Um, and I think they barely beat out Brady in the game previous. I think they end up hitting Buffalo and they say, we can't handle what Buffalo has. Buffalo is looking good. I think they end up getting shut down on offense. I just don't think that you allow Devontae Adams and Fado Scantling to run up and down the field on you. Mm-hmm. I think they end up struggling a little bit on offense to get going. They end up getting going in the second half, but it's too late. Um, so I think Buffalo ends up taking that. But I have Green Bay and Buffalo in that Super Bowl. That's the one that I want to see. Um, I, I don't feel like seeing Tom Brady in it again. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, more power to him. He's got a hell of a team. He's going to be fun to watch throughout the year because he's going to have a good team. Hopefully he remembers what down it is. <laughs> you know, and we're good to go. But oh, that's we'll, an eternal meme. We'll there. have to see where it ends up. I think they make it as far as the second round of the playoffs ended up losing it. It's hard to repeat. It is super it's hard, hard to do because yeah. you're going to be keyed in on the whole year, and mm-hmm. all eyes are going to be on. Are they going to? Are they going to win it again? Yeah. Are they going to get another one? Right. You know, and if somebody's going to do it, it's going to be Tom. Yeah. As 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 much as I, you know, I didn't like the Patriots with him and Belichick. He's a good QB though. He's a damn good QB. So good. So so, so as good. As much as it, it it's like, man, you kiss your kids on the mouth. Like I don't want you mm. winning a Super Bowl ring again. Like you know, <laughs> as, as as bad as that is, I don't think he gets oh, it man. as good as he is. Yeah. I think he ends up getting stopped by somebody in the NFC, but I don't know if any of these NFC teams can beat the top AFC team coming out. Yeah, um, it, It's really hard for me, regardless of which top seed out of the AFC makes it out. It, it's hard for me to say after the gauntlet they, they would have had to run to ramp up to the Super Bowl, the caliber that they had to play. As long as they get out of the locker room like they're supposed to, it's going to be a wide open game, I think, regardless of who they play. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not too far off from you. I think because I have um, Tampa Bay eking out over Green Bay in the NFC Championship game in Tampa Bay, I have Buffalo and Tampa as my Super Bowl prediction. But I, I'm riding with I'm riding with Buffalo as well, I think. I, I, yeah, I just I think Buffalo is they're just super they're, they're poised for a very good season. I think Josh Allen again, I'll say it one more time I think he is MVP level uh, this year. I think he comes out and he wants to prove to Bill's Mafia that the season that they were not around for, I think he wants to prove to them that he can do it again and again. I think Buffalo has definitely found their guy. They've found someone that is going to be the face of their franchise for years to come. I think all of these AFC quarterbacks are poised to just duke it out. I mean, we, we listed one through seven. We both had eight seeds that will be competitive. I think the AFC is super exciting, and I just... I think that Tampa Bay is worn out. 
I think if they play as well as I predict them to play in the regular season and into the playoffs, I just think some of these older cats that they got – They got to hit a ball at some point. I, I think some of these starters eventually just break down. I think Gronk – takes a step back and is not a super uh, involved part of their offense. And I think that plays well into a Buffalo defense that I think will be excited to not have to key in on tight ends if that were the case. And so I give Buffalo the edge in that regard. I think their offense at, at this point in the season will just be on all cylinders where I think Tampa Bay has more of a chance to be sputtering a little bit. I think it's going to take Tampa Bay's best shot to get over Green Bay. I just can't bet against Tom Brady. Uh, I'm not there yet. Until he is not. Otherwise. Yeah, he has not taken a step back where I can comfortably bet against him if he's in the dance. So I I put him in the Super Bowl, but I just think Josh Allen and the Bills are poised to take it from him. So I feel like it's the AFC's year to lose it. You know, like it, it's yeah. it's theirs to lose if whichever team makes it be it Cleveland, Kansas yeah. City, or Buffalo. I mean, any of those top three, I don't think that the you know the, that four seed in either Tennessee or Indianapolis is going to make it to the conference championship. Um, but mm. any of those three teams, if you were to send even even Baltimore, um, yeah, you, you know, you Baltimore even, is super dynamic. Yeah, so you know, I wouldn't want to face them. I'll be yeah. honest. I mean, I, I don't know if Baltimore has it to edge it out and make it there. I, uh, even in a perfect setting, I don't think they have it. No, um, which is I, why I don't think they have them getting uh, getting out of past the sixth seed. I mean, they'll be they'll be a good football team for sure. They'll be competitive. I think you're just in a hard, sure. hard, hard conference. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you throw any one of those top three teams, you throw them on the other side. I think they beat out Tom Brady for their spy on the Super Bowl. So, mm-hmm. I mean, AFC is to lose. We got Buffalo winning it. That's going to be football. Yeah. Super Bowl in 2022. I mean, it's so weird to – I mean, we didn't discuss this ahead of time, having the same Super Bowl winner, but I think we're both just really high on the AFC in general. But I I think Buffalo is – they're just poised to do something. And I think that Kansas City takes a bit of a step back. I mean, they have to eventually – I don't think Baltimore is there yet. And I think Cleveland is a year away from if, – if they put forth a good showing this year, I would be way more comfortable predicting a deep, deep run for them next year. I mean, I have them in the AFC championship game, but I would be more comfortable seeing this core group all play together for a full year and get a two seed. I would be way more comfortable putting them in a position to make the Super Bowl. But – I think it's just so hard for them to, you know, I think they really fight that out to get to that two seed over Kansas City. Mm -hmm. But it's just, it's hard. I mean, it's just so difficult for any team to beat either of these three teams. So, you know, we'll have to see. I think in years to come, this AFC is going to stay competitive and stay interesting to watch and probably stay the favorites other than these huge QBs like Tom Brady, like Aaron Rodgers. They don't have too long left, mm-hmm. I think. I think Tom probably has got a couple of years. I think if he loses this one, um, he maybe has one more. And after that, he's done. Rodgers might just hang it, up, hang it all up after this season. Or be traded and or be, be traded and go somewhere else. Yeah. It depends. I know he's got enough money. State Farm got that money. I know he's got enough to go ahead and uh, keep doing his commercials and just <laughs> chill out for the rest of his yeah. life. He's a yeah. – pretty much a god in Green Bay. So, you know, he's got a legacy like Favre does. He's good to go, and mm-hmm. he doesn't owe them anything to play another year. No, um, I, I so agree on that. It kind of depends on what he wants to do. But after that, I think you have a lot of question marks in the NFC. Of Lots of young actually, quarterbacks coming up, too. But you don't have those, you know, you, established teams. Yeah, and, and so yeah. I think the NFC is going to shake up, and since they won't have those established teams – 
I think the NFC West kind of really runs the show in the next few years once, unless they get some, you know, I don't know what the draft holds for future teams. I don't know what trades kind of happen, but I don't foresee any of those big QBs on from the AFC moving over to the NFC because none of those teams no. are going to get rid of them. So yeah. you're going to have an AFC probably dominant next few years, uh, and the NFC is going to be wide open. Yeah, and I mean the AFC in our playoff pictures that we presented. I mean they're a good quarterback staying home. Also, I mean I I think Joe Burrow I, personally I think Joe Burrow stays home, and uh, that's a good situation. Tua stays home. Tua's home. Herbert ends up getting there, but ends up going home soon. So, like, you have yeah. all these young talent, talented arms on this AFC that unfortunately can't make it to that Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, and that's your your old ones are Mahomes, like Mahomes and Baker are your old ones. So, like, that's yeah. what's crazy, yeah. right? So, and and Carson Wentz. Yeah, so like you man, don't have what Carson Wentz, Ryan Tannehill. Like, you don't have any any old guys. These are young guys that are going to be around for the next seven, eight years, mm-hmm. easy. It's going to be rough in that NFC whenever it comes push to shove, but they'll have to put somebody up to the plate and see if they can challenge him for a for a Super Bowl. But yeah, that'll be fun to see. Yeah, you didn't mention it in anything that we talked about so far, but who do you have as MVP? I know I kept campaigning for Josh Allen, but <sighs> he's going to be hard to argue against if he ends up leading that team to the first seed. Right. Um, the only other potential, it depends on what Russ does on the other side. Um, yeah, your other one seed. If if Russ ends up, if they <laughs> if Russ ends up playing out. ball to, to the first seed over Tampa, I think he's got a good shot for it. I think Buffalo is just going to be way more interesting to watch. So I think they end up taking it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think that any other team can probably take that. I think it's going to be the QB from whichever first seed just ekes it out. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't have enough of uh, a stud, star-studded talent. Like Even if Cleveland does really well, I just don't think Baker ends up being showy enough to get the MVP. And if Russ ends up cooking or mm-hmm. – Let's say the you know, the Rams end up being it. Tom Brady's not flash enough, flash enough to get MVP. No, if Allen's, he won't get voted if, either. If I Allen's don't. slinging the ball, Rodgers no. will not get MVP as good as he'll probably end up. It's Allen's to lose, or whoever the other first seed ends up. If Kansas City gets it, it'll be Mahomes. If which Buffalo everyone will it, be, you know, yeah. jump, you know, jumping for joy to give it to him again. Yeah. So if if, if it turns out that it's KC's year. Yeah. So unless but. somebody comes out, unless a running back comes out and is just absolutely killing it, which I don't know where that one's going to come from. Uh, it would have to be Derrick Henry. You would you yeah, would imagine. I mean, but he'd have to at that point. You have to start contending for Tennessee to make a deeper run than the the you know. Yeah, into the playoffs at that point. If he has that good of a year, which would be incredible for him to do, because at that point you've done mm-hmm. it two years in a row. And yeah, you know, you know it'll start getting like Russell Westbrook kind of MVP vibes, where it's like I've been doing this so long, I deserve it. Yeah, so at that uh, point he's the only like, running back that I would. Yeah, uh, I can't see another breakout running back. You, you never give it to a defensive person unless maybe your Chase Young really comes out and drops, you know, 20 sacks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Chase Young would be um, my defensive MVP Yeah, vote. so you'll have to see kind of where the where the chips fall for them, but it's it's got to go to a QB. I mean, that's yeah, just what the th- this, is. This year, especially given our AFC playoff picture that we both presented, all of these teams are very, very quarterback-centric. That's just the way the game goes now. Um, but I I agree with you. I think it's got to go to a QB. It just depends on which one, given how any of this playoff picture could shake up. Um, yeah, it's just hard time, to go against. Time will tell. It's hard to go against that top two from the AFC, whichever one it is, because they're going to have a tougher road to get there. Mm-hmm. And so I think it has to go to either Josh Allen's uh, or Mahomes. Probably I don't think Baker can get it. I think if I think if Cleveland has a really good season, it will be seen as a very much group effort. Yep. Because you've got faces like Odell coming back, and I would assume that he is going to play well. You got Jarvis still there. You got Njoku. You got Chubb and Kareem Hunt out of the backfield. I mean, that offense is a 
is a package deal. I mean, yep. Baker Baker is Baker, and I I'm, I've been high on Baker ever since he was out of Oklahoma. Ever since he had those really good commercials. Yeah. Where he lives in the stadium. That's, <laughs> that's when he started hitting his stride. Yeah, yeah. Straight up from there, you know. Right. So I, I I think if Cleveland does well, Baker will get less credit because it's seen as a team effort. Yep. Which is not. And Mahomes I mean, it, that's already proved whatever. himself to be the guy, and Allen looks incredible when he throws the dang ball. Yeah. So if they, they set crazy. themselves apart enough, Brady can compete for it, but he's just not exciting. He, yeah. Brady just does what he's supposed to do. Yeah. You know, I, and and the MVP is about style. It's about flashiness. It's about the story of the year. Who are you talking about? You yeah. Know? And so I just don't think that Brady's going to be able to do it. Rodgers could potentially do it if he leads Green Bay to eke out either the, you know either Seattle or Tampa Bay or whoever else you have leading the West. If Green Bay takes that first seed, then you have a an argument. You have an to argument to him um, again, yeah. But I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. He has a tough schedule, so I, ultimately I think it's, it's Josh Allen of the, of the Bills gets that MVP vote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, can't disagree. I said the same thing. But, so but that's our year in review. That is that is yeah. football twenty twenty one to twenty two. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll find enough time to put together some mid year or uh, going into the playoffs review videos, and we'll revisit these predictions we'll as see, the year goes we'll on. We'll see how many of my reaches end up coming to fruition. If, yeah, I, can, we'll, if I can we'll find an Arizona in the playoffs at the five seed, if I can find a Cincinnati <laughs> to make the Cinderella run into the playoffs, into the seven, you know, we'll see how that one goes. I I, I know that I'm. I'm amped to watch this football season. I'm actually excited. Yeah, I think football is, I mean, it's my favorite sport anyway, but I think this year feels hyper competitive with a ton of parity, top to bottom divisions. I mean, there are some clunkers, no doubt. Um, But I think a lot of teams are playing really good football, and yeah, I think it's going to be one hell of a season hopefully hopefully fans are in the stands to watch it too because that's the plan and especially bill's mafia 12th man in seattle the crazy ass packers fans I mean, they they deserve to watch these games live so get the cheese heads back in the stadium let's yeah. go football's better with fans absolutely yeah all right cool ready break Ready break. We'll, we'll, I guess we're part of Bill's Mafia now too. Yeah, I, mean, we, I guess we're, we're both bit so. If we don't, you know, if we do webcam next time, we better show up on this review. You know, the Bills in first place. We better have Bill shirts on, ready to go. Yeah, we'll get our so, Josh Allen jerseys yeah, going. There you go. But we'll check back in. Hopefully, uh, in the middle of the season or the end of the season before the playoffs, and we'll we'll see how it goes. <laughs>